Yo, what is up guys, Ghost here, and today we're going to take a look at Season 5's new gadget, the RPG, and see how it compares to the tried and tested M5 Recoilless. What sets it apart, and is it even worth you unlocking in the first place? If you haven't unlocked this gadget yet, to do so you have to complete a small assignment. You can see it if you scroll over the gadget in the gear tab of your collections page, and for this assignment you will need 30 kills and assists with the RPG or the M5 and 750 damage inflicted with shoulder launched missiles. So I've done some pretty extensive testing with the gadget and I've got all the numbers here to show you guys. But first, if you do enjoy the content, consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any future videos. Follow me on Twitter and join the Discord, I'm pretty active there. And as always guys, thank you so much for your support. Okay, so let's just jump straight into the main difference that is gonna set the RPG apart from the M5, the damage. So I tested this on a main battle tank, starting off with some side shots here. The M5 will do 27 damage, making it a 4 shot kill to the side here. Whilst the RPG will do 35 damage, making it a 3 shot kill. And those numbers also apply if you hit the tank in the turret area. In the rear, the M5 recoilless will do 34 damage, and the RPG will do a whopping 44, but do take note here that that actually means that either of these launchers are a 3-shot kill in the rear. And then finally, if you hit the tank head-on in the front where it's the most armoured, the M5 will do 21 damage, meaning a 5-shot kill, whilst the RPG will do 27 damage, making it a 4-shot kill. So the RPG does more damage, that's kind of expected, but it does come at a cost. The M5 Recoilless comes with three rounds, but the RPG only spawns you in with two. So the amount of damage you can output is actually higher overall with the M5. Three shots doing 27 damage in the side of a tank, let's say, is 81 damage total, whilst two shots from an RPG doing 35 damage each is only 70 damage total. In the RPG's defense though, you can put that damage down range significantly faster since you don't have to fire as many shots. But what about the reload times then? So I lined these two shots up perfectly in my editing software and pay attention to when the hipfire crosshair reappears again here. Reload time is almost identical. In fact, even slowed down, you probably can't tell the difference. But by scrubbing through this footage in my editor, the M5 is about two frames faster than the RPG, which is completely negligible. So the time in which these two launchers can fire their rounds is essentially the same. I think it's mostly going to come down to firstly, whether you have a support player close by or if you can find somebody to resupply you with ammo, then the RPG is likely going to be the better choice here. That lack of ammo is really the only major negative side to it. I think the RPG is also better for sniping vehicles. You know, if you see that tank on around 35 health, you know you can one-shot it, and you're actually going to get those kills. If you sneak up behind the tank, you can do 44 damage with one shot, which is pretty huge. And this also gives the tanker, you know, less warning and less time to bail out of there before they go boom. With the M5, I often hit a tank on low health, especially if you hit them in the front, and you'll then only do 21 damage, and it just manages to sneak out of there with like 5 or 10% health, or even worse, everybody just bails and you don't get anything for your trouble. Now, moving on, let's check out the velocity here. As you can see, there's really not a massive difference. If we slow things down, the M5's velocity is a little bit faster than the RPG's, but, you know, really not by much. The RPG is way, way faster than it was in Battlefield 4, for example. And then projectile drop seems to be pretty similar here as well. Now, I also checked the hipfire accuracy of both of these weapons. Unlike previous games, hip firing the M5 recoilless, as most of you know, results in a massive drop in accuracy, and the same thing seems to be true for the RPG. As you can see, it just sort of goes in the general direction you aim it without being accurate. So in conclusion here, I would say reload time is the same, velocity and projectile drop are almost the same. It really just comes down to that ammo count and the damage numbers. Do you prefer less damage in more shots or do you prefer doing more damage with fewer shots in a shorter amount of time? I should also mention that the RPG doesn't have any kind of rangefinder. So the M5, if you didn't know, has these numbered plus signs which denote hundreds of meters. So what you can do is spot a target in the distance, check that distance against the rangefinder, and then fire very accurately. And more often than not, you'd be surprised how effective this is. The same 
cannot be said for the RPG, you pretty much just have to eyeball it there. So I hope you guys found this one useful. Let me know if there's anything you think that I've missed here. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more Battlefield, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.